Cass and Pettis here. We're going to be talking about four different types of the Mixolydian scale. That's right. You only have one as you probably thought out. Um, but before I get on to the actual topic, I want to invite you guys over to my Patreon account. You can find the different scale diagrams for all of the different uh, Mixolydian scales. You can also find the backing track that I used right at the beginning of the video for that intro type solo. Um, and you can find all different types of notations for my other lessons here on YouTube. Now, coming back to the actual lesson, the first skill I'm going to be talking about is the classic Mixolydian. You know, that fifth mode from the major scale. Now, as you all know, as you'll probably know, um, this has an intervallic construction of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and flat 7. Now, based on that formula, you can tell that you can play that over a dominant chord, which has a construction of 1, 3, 5, and flat 7. Now, there's a couple of different ways where you can actually apply this, but I'm going to be talking about that right at the end of the video because they apply to each and every one of the different Mixolydian types of scales. Now, this scale is going to sound like something like this. Now, the next scale is the fifth mode of melodic minor, and that's Mixolydian flat six. And as the name suggests, you can just go one, two, three, five, flat six, and then flat seven. So you're just taking the name Mixolydian and applying any type of accidental that you might find in the name, in this case, flat six. Now, as the name also suggests, you can just play that over a dominant type of chord. It's same as Mixolydian, but in this case, you have a flat six with a formula. So if you have a dominant seven flat 13 type of chord, that would be the perfect type of situation to play this scale. And this scale will sound something like this. The next scale is actually Phrygian dominant or Mixolydian flat 2, flat 6, or Mixolydian flat 9, flat 13. Yes, there are a ton of different names for the same scale. And it's the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale. You can see players like Envy Malmsteen just running all over the place with this type of scale. You can also listen to it in a lot of like Latin type of music. Now this scale has an intervallic construction of 1, flat 2, 3, 4, 5, flat 6, and flat 7. As you can tell, but just by looking at the name, you can figure out the different intervallic constructions within the actual scales. Again, just look at Mixolydian. The name Mixolydian already gives you a hint of the base constructions, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and flat 7, as in the classic Mixolydian from the major scale. But then just add the different accidentals, in this case, flat 2 and flat 6. A lot of people tend to look at it more as if they were the extensions, like flat 9, flat 13. Really, in, in my case, I don't really care about however you call it, because eventually it all means the same thing. You could, you're going to get that flat 2 and that flat 6 within the scale. Now, the other name we get for this is Phrygian Dominant, which is very common and prevalent within guitar circles, but it's the same type of scale. Don't get scared about listening to different names for the same type of thing. As long as you know the formula, you can know exactly where you can play it over. Now, as with the other Mixolydian scales, you can play this over the dominant chord. But in this case, if you have a flat 9 and a flat 13 within the chord, then this is specifically the type of scale that you want to play over that chord. So again, if you have a dominant 7, flat 9, flat 13 type of chord, this is the scale that you want to play over it. And it sounds something like this. Finally, the last scale I'm going to be talking about is Mixolydian flat 2. And yes, we're going to go through exactly the same type of process, so you can pretty much guess already what the intervallic construction is. Just take Mixolydian and replace that 2 for a flat 2. So you end up with a scale construction of 1, flat 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and flat 7. Now again, if you take that as a base to figure out what type of chord you can play it over, yes, you can play over a normal dominant chord, just your 1, 3, 5, and flat 7. But if you have that added flat 9, then it's going to be a perfect situation for this type of scale. And it's going to be the fifth mode of harmonic major. If you want to find out more about harmonic major, I have a full-on video. Just Google up my name with harmonic major on the side, and that video should pop up quickly. Now, 
as for the actual applications and how you can actually learn this scale, you can go over my Patreon channel and find the different scale diagrams. That would be the first recommendation that I would give you guys. The second way of learning this is by looking at the intervallic construction and just applying those different intervals all over the neck. And then finally, we look at the parent scale relationship. And it's going to work the same way for each and every one of these different scales. Since they're all the fifth mode of each of the different parent scales, then all you got to do is go up a perfect fourth from the chord that you want to play and apply the parent scale for whatever scale it is that you're playing over that chord. Let me explain this a little bit better because it can get a little jumbled up just within all the different words. So for example, if you have a dominant seven chord and you want to play mixolydian, the parent scale is the major scale because mixolydian is the fifth mode of the major scale. So if you have C7, for example, you go up a fourth and you would play the F major scale over C7 and you get the exact same notes as if you're playing mixolydian. The same thing is going to happen with all of the other different scales. If you want to play mixolydian flat six, you go up a fourth from that C7 and you play F melodic minor and you're going to get the notes for mixolydian flat six. If you want to play Phrygian dominant or mixolydian flat two, flat six, go up a fourth from that C7. Again, it's always a fourth and you're going to play F harmonic minor over that C7. You're going to get the notes for the Phrygian dominant. And then finally, exactly the same type of process, go up a fourth from that C and you're going to play F harmonic major from C7 and you're going to get the notes for mixolydian flat two. Now, all these different skill options are really cool to apply over different types of genres. You can play over a blues, you can play over a fusion type of dominant vamps. You can even play over some country if you look at it in a more creative type of fashion. Obviously, it's going to sound a little bit out and it's going to give you a bit more of a complex sort of sound, more of a jazzy type of sound, you could say. All right, so that's it for this video. Remember, you could follow me on any type of social media. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm also on Patreon. I want to give a huge thanks to all the guys over at Patreon. You guys make making these videos a lot easier. I also want to invite you guys over to my website, HuangAntonioMusic.com, where you can find different lesson packs. You can also find my different box sets with the guys from Guitar Tutorials. All right, thanks for watching.